Hi Virgo, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, this is a bonus reading. We're going to take a little look at love, life, and advice for you at this time. My intention for this is if any of your monthly readings did not resonate for you, maybe something here will. So welcome in Virgo. Hope everybody's doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male, female, doesn't matter. And we'll see what's going on for you at this time for this bonus reading. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box to your playlist, Love in General. Also the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below in the description box as well as some of it will be pinned to the top comment. All right, so Virgo, only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Everything may not be for you, so please don't try to make it fit if you feel like it's not for you. So Virgo, <clears throat> let's see what's going on in love for Virgo, please. Spirit. Well, we have the man here bearing his chest. Ace of Cups at the bottom here, brand new beginning in love. And we have 82, which is 10, which could be the ending of something or ending of ways. And then there's one, a new beginning. So somebody could be bearing everything, wanting a new beginning in love. Somebody could be taking a gamble here with the dice. And we have 39 here, which is 12, which is 3, which is about working together, teamwork, collaboration. I feel like somebody now uh, may be taking a gamble and just going for it and see what happens. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit here. Uh, <coughs> here from the book. I could be you, the reader, or the significant male subject of your reading, or a male partner. So it doesn't really say uh, too much. But let's see what the dice has to say. So it's definitely a man here. I feel like ready to bear it all. They're bearing their chest. They're wanting a brand new beginning in love. They're feeling very passionate. All right, so we have dice. I am the risk, the gamble you choose to take. I am the uncertain and the leap of faith. I offer the promise of future change, possibly negative cards to my right will foretell ill fate, but positive cards will bring about a happy state. So somebody may be feeling lucky in love and really now ready to take a gamble on love ready to open their heart, bear their chest, bear it all, and uh, wanting this new beginning in love. Virgo, okay. Somebody wanting to take that risk. Love risk. Leap of love. All right, so Virgo, let's see what's going on in life for you. And I like to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. All your support you give me and the channel is truly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. So what do we, oh, I guess that one's sticking out for Virgo. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. So something here will be healing. And then we have here, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So we have Scorpio energy here now. So somebody is releasing negativity. And by releasing this negativity, it could be negative thinking. It could be negative circumstances. People, places, things around you. <clears throat> by finally releasing this negativity that is no longer serving you. You are going to start your healing process and you'll be feeling much better by doing this. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get your advice at this time for Virgo Spirit, please. Thank you so much. I would like to say Virgo, especially if you're new, you like my style, how I read. You can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You'll get five readings a month to general, to love, and a bonus. And if you do, thank you. So what is Virgo's <clears throat> advice at this time? Synchronicity. So this means things could be lining up for you. Everything's falling into place. 
everything's happening as it should be and everything is just kind of going with the flow and we have 87 here <clears throat> which is 15 which is 6 which is about healing and balance so I feel like here things are going to start falling into place going in the right direction everything's just gonna kind of go with the flow be very healing balancing energy and we have follow your dreams 85 here which is 13 which is 4 which is stability so by following your dreams I feel like following your dreams whatever it is for you a new job a move something in your career a new person I don't know just going after something you've always wanted to do or whatever your dreams are for you every once you start manifesting that energy everything's just gonna fall into place naturally and that's with the synchronicity but I feel like there's some sort of negative energy you have to get, let go of release whether it's low self-esteem uh, negative thinking people places things around you will start your healing process will start you to be able to now manifest and follow your dreams and then everything boom is just going to fall into place so it's a good energy so let's see virgo let's clarify <laughs> ace of wands let's clarify for you virgo nine of pentacles becoming that's your energy becoming stable and independent all right Virgo. Let's clarify for Virgo spirit, please. And my cards do not want to behave. All right. So we get one more good shuffle for you, Virgo. Well, it is what it is, right? Okay. Virgo, what is this risk? What is this gamble? What is this leap of faith? This man? I mean, you could be the man or this could be... Um, and there you are. <clears throat> and I had just said that. Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Six of Swords. Going into a much better place. Sailing into calmer waters to peace, harmony, and balance. Feeling very stable, secure, and grounded. Energy. Okay, what else? Maybe you're the one taking, now that you're feeling more stable and secure you could be the one male or female doesn't matter wanting to go to this man maybe they have bared their all to you before and maybe you got scared but now you're ready to take a risk in this leap of faith or it could be vice versa however it resonates for you yeah toxic energy here with the devil capricorn energy knight of wands fire leo sag aries Here's the lovers, Gemini, soulmate energy. And now the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So a lot of different energy here. We have two different energies of two knights. So somebody could have had a choice between two, a water sign and a fire sign. And because we do have the devil energy here, so that can indicate maybe a third party. So maybe there was a choice between two, needing to decide who do I take a risk with, who do I gamble with, who do I roll the dice, who do I choose. <coughs> so I feel like, I feel like if it's you, you definitely are feeling stable and secure now. You know who you can go into common waters with, which will be peace, harmony, and balance. So no more toxic energy, no more torn between two people, no more feeling conflicted between passion or love. And I feel like you're making a decision because lovers can be about making a decision. So we do have the Knight of Cups here, you know, overlapping it all. So you may choose a water sign for some of you, as we do have the Ace of Cups there, which is water. So some may be choosing a Cancer Scorpio Pisces over a Leo Sag Aries. Feeling like this is your soulmate, this is someone you want to take a chance with, a risk with, gamble with, rolling the dice and choosing the one that's best suited for you. Because you know your value and your worth and you know you know which one will be aligned with you into your you know, with your values and your worth. The fire sign might have been a player in and out kind of energy. 
and you want love. I mean, you want passion too, but you also want love. All right, so what is this time for healing and time to release negativity? So yeah, it could have been a tower moment here. It could have been a fight, argument, breakthrough, epiphany, surprise. <clears throat> what else here? Then <laughs> we have the sun, Leo energy. So we have Aries, Leo. So happiness, joy, success, victory, healing, and that's your healing, your enlightenment, happiest card <clears throat> in the deck, happy home and family, everything positive with the sun. So whatever this tower moment was, whatever negative energy, negative tower moment it was, it's time now to just release it and heal from it. And here's your healing with the sun energy. Because you do have a prosperous new beginning here, divinely guided to you. It could be a new job, a new career. It could be moving. It could be a new home. It could be, you could bought a new car. I mean, it could be a big ticket purchase. It could be... Um, an offer coming in, an engagement, leveling up a commitment, someone offering commitment, however it resonates for you. But like I said, whatever I feel like, and I had said that, whatever you release, whatever negativity you release and start to heal from that, things are going to align from you with synchronicity, things being divinely guided and handed, handed to you from the universe. Once you get on the healing path, to start following your dreams. Yep, patience, balance, Sagittarius energy here. Uh, healing energy. Just be patient and healing. And yep, healing again. So a lot of healing coming out here. Healing, healing, healing over whatever that tower moment was or whatever that was for you. Wow. And here comes the offer coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. And here's the big pentacle here being divinely guided. Look, this is the same energy. Wow. <coughs> so whatever this was for you, once you release that, you move on from that, you heal from that, you stop moving forward. All the universe is going to be handing you things <laughs> left and right, and everything is just going to fall into place once you follow the path you feel like you're meant to take and follow your dreams. Everything is just going to fall into place with synchronicity there which include probably your soulmate, getting that dream job, uh, moving in your dream home. Everything's just going to bam, bam, bam. Just all going to line up for you. All right. So, but it has to start with releasing things no longer serving you first and moving on from that. Otherwise, you stay stuck in that karmic energy and the universe sees you're not ready to move forward with what they want to give you. Yeah, because we have the empress here, emperor, empress energy. Exactly. So being in your power, being the you know that mother of the deck, embodying all the queens, or king queens of the deck, whatever, taking control, lead in your life, birth of something new here, knowing your value and your worth. She embodies every single queen of the deck: growth, abundance, love, prosperity, um, passion, fire, truth, clarity. Yep. Hierophant, so definitely could be a commitment coming in for some of you. Uh, staying committed to the journey, doing what you need to do, and following your dreams. Staying committed to that. We'll leave, you will stay in your empress or emperor power. Again, some of you could be getting committed to something or someone. Could involve marriage or something like that. Doing what's moral, just and right. Value, structure. Um institutions kind of energy yeah happy home and family here four wants committed two cards of staying committed to this journey staying committed to do what you need to do in releasing things no longer serving you and healing and moving on in the path that you're meant to be i feel like you know what your path is and you need to start moving in that direction and everything is just going to line up for you because you've got happy home and family here Celebrating ceremonies, the four of wands, stability in your home life. A lot of you could be getting married or committed also along this journey. Wheel of Fortune, oh my God. So fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, growth, abundance, everything. The wheel turning in your favor once you release and heal. Everything's going to align for you. Soulmate's going to come in. You get your dream job, your dream, everything. Wow. 
So we have Taurus, we have Sagittarius, and then the Empress is Libra in Taurus. So what else here? Wow. Wow. Virgo, seriously, Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing, having just a very peaceful, harmonious energy about you, spiritual energy, being divinely connected. Wow. So, and I said that, here comes your love, here comes your soulmate. Eight of Cups, exactly, once you walk away from things no longer serving you. Once you do that, then the wheel comes in. Brings you your love, brings you everything that is meant for you. Wow. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. So manifesting this for yourself. This is Gemini and Virgo. Manifest <laughs> your soulmate. And I said that, your soulmate. Leo Sag Aries. We got the King and Queen of Wands here. A matching couple. It doesn't matter the suit. This is your soulmate coming in for you. Once you release what is no longer serving you with the Four of Pentacles and get into a much balanced, much more balanced energy and using that sword to cut away things no longer serving you, leaving that energy behind you out in the cold where it belongs, abandoning that energy, finding your way, your light, your path, even though you can't see it clearly, doing that inner journey, soul searching work for your future. And then having total wealth and abundance, prosperity, marriage, commitment, everything here with the Ten of Pentacles. Never having to worry about your future. This is the marriage card. This is being financially set for the rest of your life, long term. Once you figure things out with the Hermit energy and become enlightened with the Moon energy, leave those energies in the past no longer serving you, getting your balance using the sword to cut away what's not serving you, holding on to your stability, um, but also learning to let go. I feel like it needs to be in reverse, learning to let go what is no longer serving you. Because you do have, look at this, you have two soulmates, soulmate here, same suit, definite soulmate here, soulmate union. Doesn't matter the suit. This is Leo Sag Aries, but it doesn't have to be. And then manifesting this brand new beginning for yourself. Wow. Virgo. Wow. Good for you. Well, best of luck to you, Virgo. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.